Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to solve one numerical based on emitter bias configuration. Okay. So let us try to understand how we will solve this numerical. Okay. So you can see here. So what is question here is to find out the value of IE and VC for the circuit given below. Okay. So, so you have got this circuit, let us say in your university exam and you are asked to find out the value of IE and VCE. Okay. So this is your question here to find out the value of IE and VCE for the given circuit. Okay. So once you see this circuit, you have to analyze the circuit. You have to understand what is the biasing of the circuit? What is the configuration of the circuit? Okay. So you can see here, you can see here the base of this NPN transistor is connected to one resistance RV, then it is grounded. And you can see here your collector is connected via RC, collector resistance and 15 volt VCC. So your emitter is connected to VE that is minus 15 volt and you have resistance R. Since you see here the emitter is biased here, emitter is given, emitter is connected to the 15 volt supply. That is why it is called emitter bias configuration. Okay. So before you solve this numerical, you have to understand the types of configuration used in the circuit. So this is basically a emitter biased configuration okay and in this circuit you are asked to find out the value of ie and vce okay so and you you have also given let us say you have also given that approximation of v equals to minus one volt and and IC let us assume for IC equals to IE and you can also assume the current gain of this circuit I haven't mentioned here the current gain of this circuit beta is given by 150 okay so let us try to find out the value of IE first then later we'll find the value of VC so you can see here since the current flows you can see this IE current I current flows in the register register RE that is why that is why that is why you see here you see here there is a voltage drop okay the voltage drop across this register since the current I flowing through this so the voltage drop across this resistance is let us assume is given by VE that is emitter voltage what is the emitter voltage v equals to i e times i times r e okay so this is voltage voltage drop across the resistance let us say at this point your voltage across this emitter resistance is v and you see here at this point in red the voltage drop the voltage here at this collector node is given by v c in other words the voltage at collector node collector node is given by vc and the voltage at emitter node is given by v okay so this vc this is collector and this is emitter of your npn transistor and now you are asked to find out the value of vce okay so let us first let us first uh, understand what is given in the in your circuit so you see ve equals to minus 1 volt so that is given in your circuit. This is V equals to minus one volt and you also given IC equals to IE. Now you see here VE equals to minus 15 volt. You can see here guys VE equals to minus 15 volt. VCC equals to plus 15 volt. You can see here. Okay. And RE equals to 10K. You can see this RE equals to 10K. RC equals to 4.7K. You see here 4.7K. Now let us try to calculate the value of the value of IE. That means current flowing in the emitter. 
emitter terminal okay that means current flowing through this resistance re is given by i and now you you, you can find the value of i by using this formula this will give you the value of re i which is which is 1.4 ampere now you got the value of i okay and since you know in your approximation i equals to ic so your ic become ic equal to i equal to 1.44 milliampere right now you can easily now you can find the value of vc okay the value the voltage at this node collector node so vc equals to vcc this voltage minus ic into rc okay so how much is ic ic is 1.4 k 1.4 milliampere so vcc that means 15 volt minus 1.4 milliampere into rc equals to 4.7 k and if you solve this you will get 8.42 volt okay so this is this is the this is the voltage vc voltage guys you need to understand how how i find this the value of vc okay voltage at this node vc node okay now you have vc and you have i ve you have the value of vc you have the value of r ve you can look at this circuit you have the value of vc you have the value of ve you can easily find the value of vc how will you find the value of vce so it's very simple vce equal to so vce equals to vc minus ve and vc equals to 8.42 minus minus 1 volt from here ve you will get 9.42 okay so you have now solved this problem and you got i equals to 1.4 milliampere and vc equals to 9.42 volt okay so so hope guys you have understood how will you solve the problem for emitter biased configuration that means if you have the voltage at vcc and you have the voltage vcc and you have the voltage ve how will you find out the value of ie and vce so you can follow this simple step and you can easily solve the problem okay so hope you understood now how will you how will you solve this kind of problems if you, if you find somewhere if you have further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this